The Quilts of Valor Foundation celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. The organization known for its handmade quilts, which has delivered to more than 350,000 veterans as a symbol of gratitude for their service. The foundation teams with Authentically American, a veteran-owned apparel company that partners with hundreds of veteran charities and makes everything in the United States. Joining us now, the executive director of the Quilts of Valor Foundation, Lori Thompson, the founder and CEO of apparel brand Authentically American, Dean Wegner, and Colonel Jack Jacobs, our good friend, an NBC News military analyst and an Army veteran who received the Medal of Honor for his actions during the Vietnam War. Good morning to you all. Uh, Lori, I understand you have a presentation to make in just a moment, but first tell us more about Quilts of Valor. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Um, Quilts of Valor was founded in 2003 by Catherine Roberts, who literally had a dream. She had a dream of a distraught soldier being comforted by a quilt, and that sparked the first Quilt of Valor and created a national movement. And here we are 20 years later, 350,000 quilts later, 10,000 plus members, um, just continuing that legacy. Tr truly a wonderful legacy, and these images are are great to see. Uh, Dean, so tell us how you got involved. How did your organization get involved? Why does this matter to you? So John, what ties us together is our passion for making a difference. You heard Quilts of Valor's story, authentically American. We're an apparel brand. We've got amazing product, but it's all made here in the U.S. And to give an idea how rare American made is, when I graduated from West Point in 93, over 50% was made in the U.S. Today it's three. And we not only want to create American jobs, we, we want to help amazing organizations like Quilts of Valor build their brand and raise some money in the process. And that's a fundraiser we have going right now. So Lori, how is it decided? Walk us through the process as to how someone receives one of, the, of these quilts. Yeah, absolutely. So um, our recipients are nominated. They're nominated by a family member, a community member, anybody that wants to see their service um, honored. And they can be active duty military or they can be a veteran. Um, we have a form on our website, or they can connect with one of our 600-plus local groups for that nomination. So, Colonel, talk to us about why you think this is important as a veteran yourself, uh, you know, to, to have this, this, this symbol, an important symbol that really means a lot to people, honoring service. Well, when I came into the Army, which was a 1,000 years ago, <laughs> uh, we had a draft, and the large proportion of Americans of a certain age served um, now we've decided to outsource the defense of the country to a very small number of young men, men and women who are willing to do it. And the fact is that most Americans do not know anybody in uniform. If my view has always been, if you live in a free country, you owe it something in the form of service. But we have a significant number of young people who serve and we don't even know about it. And when they leave the service, they leave an organization where they have to rely on each other. Uh, they've learned all kinds of skills that they need to have for the rest of their lives. And they go into an environment in which nobody around them has had the same experiences they have. It's easy to feel lost amid, amid all these other people who have not served. It's important to recognize the service of, our, of, of these selfless people. And tell me, what, how, uh, when the recipients of these quilts, like, what, what do they tell you? Like, what, what, what does it mean to them? What do they get out of it? I mean, they're, like, literally surrounded by love and appreciation, but what does it mean to the people who receive these quilts? For many recipients, it's about um, comfort and healing. You know, they've been touched by war in various ways, and it's a moment for them not only to be recognized for their service, but to maybe look at that service in a different light, particularly our Vietnam veterans, um, and mm -hmm. a chance to give them a good welcome home. So, Laurie and Dean, uh, I understand you have a quilt here to present to to our friend. Let's take a look right over here. Everybody, let's walk, let's walk up. Take a camera, girl, walk over here. Uh, and there it is. Oh, wow. wow. Here, Jonathan, you stand right there. Everybody else stand. Magnificent. So, give us a sense here. What are we looking at? The importance of this symbol. Oh, yes, yes. So this Quilt of Valor, um, it's, you know, it's a symbol of love. There have been a lot of love and stitches, hours put into this quilt. Um, and it's, it's an opportunity to tell you, Colonel Jacobs, thank you for your service and thank you for your sacrifice. And we hope that it also brings comfort as well. Um, this particular quilt was chosen especially for you. 
And um, I want to point out the eagle right here and then the soldiers on the right in the distance. And to our organization, this quilt symbolizes leadership. And that's been a hallmark of your career. You've led soldiers into battle and you continue to shape the minds of our future military leaders. So we are really um, privileged today to tell you thank you for all that you have done. And you served during a really difficult time during our history. You're one of the most decorated veterans of the Vietnam War, a Medal of Honor recipient. Um, so I wanna ensure that we welcome you home as well. So sir, thank you for your service and welcome home. Well, thank you very much for your kind words. Thank you for this. Uh, but we all have to remember that this represents not just the exertions of one person, but that it represents uh, service and sacrifice of millions of Americans, those who came before and those who will come after. We don't know, uh, and we have to remember their service and sacrifice, uh, because if we don't, we won't have them anymore. Uh, it's important. So thank you very much for all you're doing to recognize the service of our veterans. Thank you, sir. It's a it's a beautiful quilt. Colonel Jacobs is humble. I'm going to embarrass you a little bit, Jack, and read from your Medal of Honor citation, uh, where it recounts your actions on that day in Vietnam, where you saved the lives of 14 people in one moment. It closes Captain Jacobs by his gallantry and bravery in action in the highest traditions of the military service has reflected great credit upon himself, his unit, and the U.S. Army. Jack, you're a great friend of ours and a great friend to this nation. It's a beautiful quilt. Congratulations. You can get more info at authenticallyamerican.us. The executive director of the Quilts of Valor Foundation, Lori Thompson, and the founder and CEO of apparel brand, Authentically American, Dean Wagner, and of course, Colonel Jacobs. Thank you all very much. We'll be right back with more Morning Joe. And I won't forget the men who died, who gave that right to 